Today, we're opening 15-year-old hobby packs in search for a $2,000 Yu-Gi-Oh card. What's up, guys? We're back with another epic video. Today, we're opening 24 first edition Power of the Duelist hobby packs. If you don't know the difference between hobby and retail packs, check out my video on it. I'll give you guys a quick rundown. Basically, hobby, we can pull the ultras and super rares as ultimate rare form. So inside is the Dark Neos, which is on the cover of the pack. And that in a graded PSA 10 ultimate rare is about $1,800, $900, nearly $2,000. But before we get into that, let's do our quick giveaway. We have an Oblitz the Tormentor, a Slifer, and a Black cluster soldier all you have to do is like this video be subscribed let me know what you want to see out of here dark neos is an awesome one flare neos aqua neos there's a lot of really cool cards in here and before we hop into it we do have some card sleeves these were sent to me by mst tv if you guys do not know them they have a shop called mst merch and inside are some sleeves that i cannot open and i'm ripping the box all right so these sleeves took me a while to open them but they are really really nice so i checked these out and i actually really really like them so if you guys want some of these make sure you check out mst merch we're going to be using these in the video today because they're just awesome deck sleeves so i think they'll be really nice for like building decks etc all right let's get into the opening this is essentially a booster box of power of the duelist which is a couple thousand maybe even three thousand at this point if you're gonna buy a hobby box so this is a pretty expensive opening so if you guys enjoy it make sure to subscribe to the channel i'm excited about this also master rule has already come out guys you guys have seen it it's insane it's awesome it's exciting if you guys haven't heard make sure you guys go get it on your pc or console if you have the ability, it's not on uh, iOS yet, unfortunately. Baby Ceratosaurus. And also, uh, Dasher is in here as a rare, so that would be nice to get. Neo Space. So, and Dasher was like $10, $12 or something. So, we'll see what happens with the ban list. Maybe it's been, you know, announced by now and it's banned or something. Or DPE or something like that. All right, next pack. Let's see. Oh, Elemental Hero Neo. It's his original. Common printing. Isn't that so weird that he has a common? It's just strange. Uh, Wonder Garage. Baby Sarasaurus, very cool. Contact, and it should be the next card, I believe. Let's see if we can get an ultimate rare. Ooh, we didn't get an ultimate rare, but we did get an ultimate Tyranno. That's pretty cool. Very nice super rare. That is a really cool looking card. Check that artwork out. Yeah, so this one could be an ultimate rare in here. It is very confusing how they did hobby and retail boxes for the US. In Europe, there was actually a third box code that is the European version, and you can get both uh, hobby and ult or hobby and retails ultimate rares. So you can get both in Euro, uh, but if you're in the ultimate or not, the, I can't speak US, then you can get both retail and hobby, or you have to have separate boxes. So we have Orbital Bombardment, we have Black Terra, Sympathetic Seraphim. Yeah, don't blame me too much. I stayed up from 3:30 a.m. to 9 a.m. streaming Master Duel. If you guys were there, oh wait, no, there's nothing special summoned. Oh, frick. Yeah, so I, I can't think. Oh, Super Viacroid Jumbo Drill. So there's one of our ultimate. Well, we don't necessarily have a ratio. It might be even more than two because this, these are all loose packs. Super Viacroid Jumbo Drill. That is a really awesome looking card. It's probably not the best one, but it's definitely very cool looking. I like to see that. That is awesome. We've gotten an ultimate rare already, Bitlium and Blade Master. Let's see if we can get some dashers in here at least. You can't get the ulti dasher because that would be a retail because it's a uh, a retail box pull because it is just a regular rare. So here we go. Fossil Excavation, Alien Gray, D-Spirit, Flying Saucer, Musik, and the Neo Spatian Flare Scare. We have another one. Oh my goodness. This is going really well. Neo Spatian Flare Scare. Neo Spatian. Wow, this is this is terrible. The absolute struggle right now of speaking. It is, it is, you know, speaking is not the easiest thing, guys. Okay, let's keep going. I'm so excited. To open these up let's go fossil excavation very cool the accord connection destiny hero fearmonger rescue roid and cosmic horror gangiel gangiel brainwashing beam of the jurassic eggs in here and mausoleum of the emperor so we're seeing some more dino stuff i cannot escape the dinos it seems they are everywhere potd let's do this let's pull something good we've got another orbitable Orbitable bombardment. <laughs> Rescue Roid. Doesn't hear fear monitor. These are very small sets. These GX sets tend to have like 60 cards in them. So we're going to see a lot of repeats on the commons. V-Cord Connection Zone. And D-Chain. The D-Chain. Brainwashing Meme. Stay goes in here. Fake, fake Hero. And Crop Circle. Going pretty well so far. I've got an ulti. We've got, what, a couple supers? So Ultra Rares are actually pretty tough to pull in GX sets. For some reason, they made it where Ultras were twice as rare. It's just really weird as Ultimate Rares. Rescue Roid, we have Contact, Alien Gray, Destiny Hero, Double Dude, we got Decoy Roid, oh, I love that card, it just, it just looks kind of cute, 
Uh, crop circle and fake hero. There we go. Destiny hero double dude. Yeah, it's very strange because like in a current set, you would get like two secrets and four ultras. In this kind of set, like in GX, you would get one ultra, four supers, two ultis. That's like the average. Sometimes you would even get zero ultras. It's very strange. Old school, you would get two ultras, four supers, and maybe one secret. Wonder Garage, we got an alien gray. Synthetic, synthetic, Seraphim. Terra. Spirit calling, spell calling. Ambulance Rescue Roid. Blade Master and the Alien Hunter. We opened a lot of this at one point. We did a live stream. We opened like 244 packs. It was insane. It was so fun. Uh, we pulled all kinds of stuff. Let's see if we can replicate that. We have Crystal's Dolphin. Amos Rushy Red. Fearmonger. The Paths of Destiny. And this is another Hollow. No, Alien Mother. Okay. Black Stego, Defender, and Bitloon. All right. We're not even halfway through. So we've pulled four foils already. So it kind of makes sense. Oh, we're supposed to be using our sleeves. Wait, I forgot. We got to sleeve up our ultimate rare in one of those so I can show off the sleeves. D Spirit, Flying Saucer, Baby Sarasaurus, Cursilus Dolphin, and Alien Warrior Destiny Mirage, Bitlone, and Ambulance Rescue Road. Okay, let me show you guys. They fit perfectly, which is what I like about them. So they're nice and soft. They're not like. So some sleeves that I use, uh, they're a little bit harsh when you put them in there. It feels like you're going to damage the edges. With these, it feels like there's no way that's going to happen. They just slide in nice and easily. They're, they feel perfect for a deck, like absolutely perfect. And even for storing your cards in a binder, these feel really, really nice because they're not going to like damage your corners when you put them into the sleeve, which is really cool. I really like these, actually. Like I'm, They're probably my favorite sleeve I've ever used. So make sure to check out MST Merch if you guys want to get some of those because I don't know the exact prices, but uh, I'm sure that they're probably worth because these seem like really solid sleeves. We've got a Dolphin Rescue Roid. Fearmonger. Orbital Bombardment, and... Ooh, a Neospatian Aqua Dolphin. Saber Source is in here. That's hilarious. Neospatian Aqua Dolphin. Let's get ourselves another white card sleeve. I really like white card sleeves. They're just like, not just white, but necessarily any color is just nice. Just a, a solid color. I don't really like anything else on them. That looks really, really cool. The Aqua Dolphin. Very nice. Last pack on the right side of our fake booster box we have here. So let's see if we can pull something. We have five foils pulled already. This is pretty nuts. All right, Rescue Roid, Synthetic Seraphim, Elemental Hero, Neos. Oh, <laughs> Rux and Special Riding to the Alien Warrior. The Dashers are hiding from us. We have not pulled a Dasher yet, unfortunately. Okay, all right, we're still working for it. On to the second half. We're doing pretty well so far, I would say. All right, give us, oh, we got another Neos. Very cool. Elemental Hero, Neos, Neos is always cool to see. Wonder Garage, Baby Sarasaurus, Contact. Overload Fusion, that's not a bad card. That's pretty cool. Uh, Miracle Jurassic Egg and Royal Wit of Taxation. Power of the Duelist. Over 15 years. Like, we're, we're going on 16 years since this came out in 2006, which is pretty insane. I mean, this set has been around for a long time. It has some really, really cool collectible cards. Baby Sarasaurus. I guess the only competitive card is probably Dasher. So, it's interesting. Wonder Garage and Submarine. Oh, no. No, sorry. Submarine Roid. Very competitive. I, I didn't mean to say that about you, Submarine Roid. I apologize. All right. On to the next pack after we trashed it. Chrysalis Dolphin. Paths of Destiny. Can we get an Ultra Rare in here? Ambulance Rescue Roid. Very cool. Contact. And. Ooh, another Destiny Hero Double Dude. So this guy is, speaking of double, we've pulled him twice. Okay, it kind of makes sense here. Very nice. Uh, double Dude. Very cool. Sleeve him up. Yeah, these sleeves are, okay. I'm liking him more and more. Like, the first time I used him, I was like, I think these are the best sleeves I've ever used. Now I think I'm sure. <laughs> I am sure. I guess think and sure cannot be in the same sentence, can they? <laughs> okay, I am sure that they are the best. And I'm not like, I'm, I mean, all they did was send me a couple sleeves. They're not like paying me or anything. Like, this is straight up. Uh, I really like these. I'm going to use these for my decks. Terra, Masik. Oh, and a Flare Scarab. Neo Spatian Flare Scarab. What a beautiful ultimate rare. And yes, we will sleeve it up with the MST merch sleeves. So make sure you guys go check them out. I will have the, the uh, I will have the website link so you guys can actually uh, get to it. I'm struggling like big time today. I'm blaming on the sleep schedule, guys. I went to bed at 9 a.m. That hasn't happened since I was like in middle school or something. <laughs> that is a beautiful looking Neospatian Flare Scarab. That is awesome. All right, can we get a third ultimate rare? These are not from a box, so technically we could. We're looking for an ultra rare, Flying Saucer Masik, Baby Sarasaurus. Oh, and an ultra rare elemental hero, Aqua Ne Aqua Aqua Neos. This is awesome. Oh my gosh, we're pulling crazy right now. 
Another ultra rare. This is so cool. I just saw that. I do have an ulti of this. I think we pulled it out of Power of the Duels myself. And I saw it the other day. I was like, this is sweet ultimate rare. Turns out I did have both of my pulls from... Yeah, this is from the booster box we opened. So there's the ultimate rare Aquanios. There's another double dude. Very cool. So you can check out the differences here. Ultimate rare versus ultra rare. Very cool. This is actually... Uh, the ultimate rare is more easy to pull. Not this specific one, but in ultimate rare in general. This one's still more difficult to pull than the ultra, though. A little confusing. All right, this has been a great opening so far. How many... What have we pulled? We've pulled like eight foils now. That's more than box ratio. That's incredible. Yeah, and uh, to explain, ultimate rares. So there's like 11 in the set, I think. 11 ultimate rares for hobby boxes. So 11 times 12 is what you'd have to do. And then for ultras, there's only four. So you do 24 times four. So that's the ratio. So it ends up being 96 versus like 132. So it's still a little bit harder to pull a specific ultimate rare, but it's still uh, easier to pull an ultimate rare instead of an ultra, just a general one. So that is very, very confusing. But if you follow the numbers, you know what I'm talking about. There's a dark city. All right, last few packs. We still could pull something else. This has been a very good opening. Usually you don't always get ultra rares in these GX openings. A lot of the time I don't. I end up getting five supers. So I guess the non-booster box ratios are doing us a favor. We have Fearmonger, Paths of Destiny, Orbital Bombardment. Wonder Gedage. Supercharge. That's the one you never want to see. Blade Master. I just feel like it's a slap in the face to pull this card as an ultimate rare out of a retail pack. You're like, are you kidding me? That's what I get. I could have pulled Dasher. I could have pulled Overload Fusion. You know, all that cool stuff. And Or Dark City even looks beautiful. And I pulled this Supercharge card. It just does not feel good. <laughs> as you've noticed, I've done it before. <laughs> Fossil Activation. Baby Sarasaurus for the 50th time. Contact. Really want to play Dinos. Wonder Gedage. And... Oh, a Neo Spatian Dark Panther. We have another super rare. This is incredible. Okay, let's sleeve up that Neo Spatian Dark Panther. That looks amazing. Man, these sleeves are awesome. I love these. Yeah, you guys got to check that out. That's pretty cool. Four more packs until we get something amazing. Let's see if we get something else amazing in here. Contact, Crystal's Dolphin, Amulet's Rescue Roid, and future like think about that getting or getting that as a retail ulti i'm saying everything backwards today i'm like yoda yoda do list up the power we open that's what i feel like right now that's how i'm speaking except i'm not using the accent i'm just sounding dumb <laughs> yoda somehow sounded wise doing that i don't know how it's possible uh rescue roid gray alien zone via Croid connection oh and there's the dasher it looks like yoda is the way to bring out the dasher we have a first edition rare dasher i think this is still like over ten dollars which is really cool Awesome pull to get, especially when these packs are really expensive. Help you get something back. All right, Destiny Mirage, Blade Master, and Rallus. Very nice. Okay, two more packs. So we got the Dasher. That's pretty cool. Use that with our DPE until it gets banned, you know, in like a week or something. All right, we've got uh, D Spirit, Flying Saucer, Masik, Neos, Wonder Garage, Cyber Summon Blaster. I don't even remember that card. Decoy Roid, and Mir we have Mausoleum in here. I've probably passed that 100 times. Final pack of the opening, guys. If you guys have enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe because we'll have more epic openings in the future. Hopefully, uh, even more than we have before. All right, let's go. We have Fearmonger, Rescue Roy, Orbit of Bombardment, Black Terra, and Cyclone Blade. Yeah, some of these are not great in the retail section, but that's okay. We have we had hobby packs, so it doesn't matter. If you guys enjoyed the opening, make sure to subscribe to the channel because we're going to be doing more of this in the future. Also, if you want to see more Master Duel content, let me know, and we can, you know, work that in with our normal schedule. Shout out to TCG Trust Guards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Noah J, Stanley, Mike Nance, Maybe Gecko, Duelist King Cards, Spanky McFarland, G-Raider, and Daxter. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.